That last one was only five minutes. Um, oh well. I guess that's good if you want to take a break or something and you don't want to pause them. Anyways, um, so now we're going to do uh, date equals date, and then we're going to do in parentheses capitalized Y dash M dash D, which puts the year into 2009, 2009, instead of 09 or whatever. And then the month, we'll put it into 08 for August. And then date, we'll put it into 30 for the... So, 2009-08-30. I don't really like the look of it either, if you don't like it, but that's how it goes in the database. You can uh, move it around or whatever if you want later, I guess. Now we're going to do um, insert query equals MySQL query uh, insert into users value values um, what are we going to do? Um, we're going to have one field, two field, three field, four field. Uh, so we have the ID field, username field, password field, and date field right here. The ID field will leave blank. The username field will put username. And then the password field will do password. And then the date field will put date. And then we'll save that. And then we'll die successfully registered. Uh, we also need to strip tags. Uh, um, we'll do username, well, we'll just do it kind of easier, I guess. We'll do equals strip tags, um, yeah, I think that should strip it, right? Um, strip tags. And we don't really need to strip tags on the beat password, but we will anyway. Strip tags. Oops. At. Save that. So now tags are stripped, the HTML tags and stuff. Um, it's probably There's probably a lot of security flaws, but that's not what I'm really uh, working on. But yeah, so now let's go back. Uh, we'll type in whatever. Passwords don't match, okay. And my school number rows is not a valid thing. And that is line 22. 22. Um, num rows equal my SQL. Num rows R A G Q U E R Y. Is that right? Uh, it's probably the strip tags. Let me just erase the strip tags and see if that changes anything. Nope. So let's just add the strip tags. Hold on. Let me look. 20, 22 or 29? 22. Okay. Hold on. Okay, sorry. I have no idea what I did wrong, but I figured it out finally. Uh, I still have no idea. But I just retyped reg query and num rows. I have MySQL query select all from users where username equals username. See, I don't see an error there. Let me just try typing this. Select all from users where username equals username. No, oops. Now if we just refresh this. User already exists. Okay, so you might not have got the error, but it was probably just me. I typed something wrong or spelled something wrong. I'm just gonna control Z really quick. Select all from users. See, I don't see anything wrong there, do you? Select. I'm gonna pause it for a second just so I can look. Oh, I see it. Uh, I spelled select wrong. S-E-L-E-C. 
now if I refresh it, user already exists. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to delete this. And we're going to finally register. Andrew Wren. Uh, I'm going to type in my password. Successfully registered. Now if we come back here. It types in, I joined today. My password is encrypted. My username, ID. Because I went through a whole bunch of trying to fix it. Um, anyway, so now let's go back to login.php. And we need to log in now. So go back to your login page where we did um, uh, where we uh, um, commented out the password equals MD5 password. Erase the comment. I'm not going to yet. I'm going to show you what happens if you don't. I typed it in. It won't log me in. Passwords don't match. Um, wait. Let me change it to incorrect password. Incorrect password. Just to make it look nice. And then now if I erase the MD5 and then do it, it successfully logged in. Click here and that says hello username. That's it for the login and register script. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I will be doing more PHP tutorials on um, adding more features and stuff. Uh, yeah. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks.